Most of you will probably know the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. However, did you know that the Humboldt triangle is hiding another theorem? It's called the geometric mean theorem, also known as the right triangle altitude theorem. First, let's redraw our triangle to include an altitude h drawn to the hypotenuse, cutting it into two pieces, c and d. The geometric mean theorem states that the square root of cd equals the altitude h. How fascinating! But why is this true? Let's see. First, we will break the larger triangle into two smaller triangles. These two triangles have a special property. They are similar to each other. This means that the ratios of their lengths and angles are the same. Therefore, the length of the red triangle's shorter leg to its longer leg is equal to the length of the blue triangle's shorter leg to its longer leg. Mathematically, we can express this as C over H is equal to H over D, cross multiplying. We get that H squared equals to CD, so H equals the square root of CD. That's why this is true. Isn't it amazing? That no math fact is cool if we don't know how to apply it. So here is a simple question. The altitude divides the hypotenuse of the triangle into two parts of lengths of 9 and 16 centimeters. What is the area of the triangle? Well, this is very easy. Just use the geometric mean theorem to calculate the altitude h. 9 times 16 is 144. The square root of 144 is just 12. So the altitude h is just 12 centimeters. Then we can easily calculate the area of the triangle which is 150 square centimeters. It's so simple. Finally, before you leave, here's another question to test your understanding of the geometric mean theorem. What is the length of the side marked by the question mark? Leave your answers in the comments below. If you have any other questions, do also comment them below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you again soon.